Hey guys, this is my Pets Fanboy back again. Today, I'm going to give you my thoughts on 2019. So, basically, um, January of 2019, I thought it was really good. I, I really enjoyed 2019 because I was, at, I was still at um, Project Surge at, at the time. And, and basically, um, 2019 was doing really good for me. It was doing very good. And, and in January, I went to go see a movie, um, my, the very first movie I saw in theaters this year was A Dog's Way Home, which after I saw that movie in theaters with my brother and my mom, I loved it. Like, at the end of the movie... When on the dog found his way home, everyone at the theaters was crying tears of joy, and everyone clapped. Like, like when I saw when I saw that movie in theaters, there were around like eighty people when I saw that movie in theaters. Because um, the Regal Cinema movie that I have at my local mall, it doesn't have that many scenes. I think it has around like thirty five seats, I think, in total. But my re but my premiere cinema was has a lot of seats, and the second reason is February was amazing for me because what because when I heard that Lever Rock Strikes Back, if you guys don't know who Lever Rock Strikes Back is, he's actually my best YouTube friend from the United Kingdom because that's where he lives in the UK. And I live in the USA, the state of New Mexico. So when when I heard that Lover Ross got himself a computer that was going to do hangout live streams, I was really looking forward to it. And uh, until um until like at the time I did not know what hangout live streams were. So when I was watching uh, around like two minutes of Lover Ross's live stream when he when he was live streaming, I was like this is my chance that I can talk to Lumber Rocks in person, face to face. And basically, well, I was at Project Search at the time, and and how I got, how did I um added Lumber Rocks to my hangout um contacts? Is that I searched his um hangout account on Google Plus, so. Yeah, that was like the easiest way that I can that I can add people to my contacts on from Hangouts. It's on Google Plus, and then I was having a really fun time making these live streams. And the thing that really pissed me off the most is that back in December twenty of twenty eighteen. However, well, this is way back. Um, I accidentally locked my locker keys in my locker at Project Search, and basically, um, this was the, like it happened like on the day before I went to go see Spider-Man to the Spider Verse in theaters, which was actually my last day of 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 my Project Search before I was on on Christmas break in 2018. And yes, guys, I will make my thoughts on 2018 because 2018, oh my god, that has to be one of the best years that I ever had in my whole entire life. So, yeah, anyways, back to 2019. Sorry, guys, I got a message from Wemba Rocks. Back to what I was saying, guys. So, basic, so basically, so basically, I was having a really good year and... What really um pissed me off the most about project about um project search is that um is that uh one time which I was in um OBGYN. If you don't know what um OBGYN is, OBGYN that um you that you had to like had to like um clean like um clean stuff like the beds and um and clean the counters and all that and I think OBGYN, to my opinion, that has to be one of the most de depressing 
things that I did at Project Search because there was nothing that I, that I got else to do. So I was so I was just sitting in my sitting in the chair waiting until um, one of my um, co-workers who works at OGYN give me another tag. So basically, and then I got a notification on my old phone that that Lumbo was live. So basically, since I didn't want the volume too loud, I put my headphones in and I was doing the live stream with Lumbo Ross. Like, it, like I think um the live stream that I did was episode 9, I think. Yeah, episode 9. It was episode 9. So basically, I was having a really fun time talking to Lumbo Rocks, however. Like, I talked to him for about like a good um 30 minutes. Because I didn't want, because I didn't want my coworkers to be like all pissed off at me. And basically, once I got home, that was the day where I went to go see the Lego Movie Two, the second part. And before I saw the Lego Movie Two, I saw Hat Train Dragon Three, Hidden Worlds. And to my opinion, I think the Hidden Worlds has to be the best one in the series because I did watch Hat Train Dragon Homecoming, um, yesterday. I mean, not yesterday, about like a week ago on Hulu, and I might review that movie pretty soon. Oh, and yes, guys, I have to review some Christmas movies very soon. So, if you guys are watching this video, I am no longer taking any movie, uh, any Christmas movie requests, because December's almost coming to an end soon. So, so basically, and the thing that really pissed me off the most, guys... Is that the day right after I saw Lego Movie 2 and right after I did Love Ross's live stream, um my co my um my my um job coaches my job coaches who run who runs on um, the project search program. Well actually it's kinda like my teachers, but I call them I but I call them um co workers. That's why I call them. Including my friends and my and my coworkers don't mind about that. So basically, and the thing that really pissed me off the most is that is that my coworkers were very angry at me when I was talking with my YouTube friend Lumber Rocks during his live stream when I was at when I was at um Project Search. And the thing that really pissed me off the most, you guys, my coworker who works in OB join in, they didn't even call my other coworkers until around like 5 30 p.m. And and that was at the t and that was at the time when I got out when I got out seeing the Lego movie 2. I was pissed off. I was angry. So basically they told me not to take my old phone um with uh with me anymore. Like what the fuck man? Seriously, what the actual fuck? Because over to our end, I think it has to be the most that has to be one of the most underwhelming jobs I ever did at Project Search. But faithfully, um they did they did understand but they did forgive. They did forgive me when I when I told them, like they like they, what they told me, like they told me, and they did understand that. But the good thing is, is that um, is that they they did give me back my old phone back. Don't get me wrong. They didn't give. They did got me back my old phone and did it, and they did apologize to me. But they told me that um, if my friend is live, um, you can just text him. And and I did and I did that for around like a good five minutes until I got on my city bus and I did talk to to Lambo. I think that was like um episode episode eleven that he did the live stream. So basically, and March came and I think March was very very good. I think March was very very good, but until. The end of March, however, no, it wasn't the end of March. It was the beginning of April, and the beginning of April, oh my God, the beginning of April. That's when it kind of flushed down the drain a bit because my mom, however, forced me to see Dumbo 2019. After I saw Dumbo 2019, I was pissed off. I was angry when I saw. Dumbo 2019 theaters. I was so pissed 
pissed off that I didn't talk to my mom for the rest of the day. Because I was so pissed off. But thankfully, but guys, now, thankfully in May, however, when I graduated on um, Project Search, however, um, one of my co-workers who normally worked and always joined in with me, since during, since when I um, get like bored or something like that, I talked to my co-worker who works in OBJN with me, I talked to him about what, what, like, what upcoming movies are coming out, and since she knows that I really love movies, during my project search, um, she got me a project search, um, graduation present, that he got me 75 free movie passes to Regal. My reaction, my jaw dropped. I was surprised that I got those tick that I got so many free movie tickets. And I think I have around like 50, 50 movie tickets now, I think. Because I used those movie tickets a few times actually. I used I used them um when I went to go see Toy Story 4, The Lion King 2019, It's a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, the the one with the the Mr. Rogers movie, the one with Tom Hanks. Frozen 2, because I saw Frozen 2 the second time, and, and, um, that's pretty much it. I was about to use my free movie tickets for Star Wars, but my mom paid them. But my mom, but my mom paid them with his own money. So, anyways, back to 2019. And then, um, and then, um, base, and then basically, um, in May, on May 21st, um, that was the day when, um, because, no, wait a minute. On the day when on my project on my project search graduation day, I just got a call from my job that I basically got hired at my retirement home, and I was surprised. That has to be one of the best days I ever had in 2018. Is that on the day when I graduated project search? That was the day that I got hired at my job, and and the month of May it was very difficult for me because basically I had to took a long one computer test because I like so many computer tests that one one of the computer tests takes like an hour or two hours long and after I was done taking the two hour test like I was very tired because because the two because the the, the tests were were a little bit boring but most of them were pretty interesting to my opinion like most of the tests were kind of boring but most of them were pretty interesting to me so so basic, so basic, so um, basically, so um, so basically, and and basically, um, and the thing that really pissed me off is that right in the middle when I was in um doing my computer meeting thing, um, we had to take care of a little girl named Iowa. I mean, I, I mean not Iowa, I not Iowa. Well. Well, I was my other little girlfriend, but that's a long story. So basically, now we had to take care of a seven-year-old girl, which it was actually one of my mom's friends. And basically, I remember like three hours later, like, like she was actually basically crying and crying and crying for a mom for for like for like two hours straight. And honestly, that was like the worst two hours I ever experienced. In my entire life, and I was so pissed off, and I don't, and I got have like a serious bad headache that I that I basically went to my bathroom. I took some Pendobismol with me, and I took some ass my um my um my pills with me, and and basically I was so pissed off that I basically left my apartment and went to tar and went to Target and. And look at some DVDs, some books, even Paw Patrol merchandise for literally two hours straight because I was so pissed off. And once my headache calmed down, I I took a little bit of Pendle Bismol and I took a little bit of my um my um some painkillers and I basically went straight back home. So thank so and by the time when I got home, my um Alyssa uh, I mean, not a what. Um, I'm sorry, it's my other friend. I forgot what I forgot what her name is, but I don't want to talk about it on this video. Is that? 
is that um thankfully she calmed down a bit. So thank God for that. Because by the time when by the time when I because by the time when I got back, she would stop crying because at the time when I was at Target, however, she was still crying. So not so thankfully that was the last time that ever that I'm ever going to see her because I did talk to my mom about that and she agreed with me. So thank God I'm not seeing her anymore. Man, if she goes back, I swear to God. And the second thing is is that back in April 30th, on the day of Lumber Rock Strikes Back's his birthday, um, the Sonic the Hedgehog trailer dropped. And I watched that project search. I was pissed off. I was so angry. And my and what the thing that really pissed me off about the movie trailer, that my friend David said, Dakota, but the but Sonic looks like just that one. My reaction, shut the fuck up. Have you played the Sonic games for Christ's sake? Which I was so pissed off that I literally slant a dislike to my son a dislike and I have a dislike playlist called uh, it, like my dislike playlist was used to be called fuck these videos in the ass but I changed it to dislike these videos because I don't want to threaten people so I just I changed it to dislike these videos so and I put it on my number one worst worst video of all time but thankfully when the new song the hatchet trail came out the new video got delayed deleted so after I saw the new song trailer I'm very excited to see it. And right and my reaction right after I saw the new Son the Hedgehog trailer, I was crying. I was I was hugging my my iPod so so tightly. Tears tears can't stop coming out of my eyes. I looked at the sun the new sun design for hours and hours and I was still crying and crying because I'm because Paramount if you're watching this, I'm so proud of you. You fix Sonic because without your guys' help, this movie will be one of the biggest box office flops of all time. Oh, and see, oh, and see, and speaking of box office flops, um, Secret of the Pets 2 flop at the box office. Like, like, what the actual fuck? Because I was so pissed off. I was angry because, because when I saw Secret of the Pets 2 in theaters, they were around, they were around like, 50 people when I went to see that movie. Like, what the actual fuck? Why did that movie bomb at the box office? Because, because don't get me wrong, like, there was actually a few movies that kind of fall at the box office that I, but I did enjoy it. I'll, I might make that video. Maybe, who knows? Comment down, let me know if you want me, if you want me to make that video of, of top something movies, movies fall at the box office that I still enjoyed. So, so, um, what else I want to say about 2019? Oh, yeah, and in June, however, and then in June, however, um, and then, um, in June, however, um, my, my, my mom and my brother, um, sat on the couch for, like, a discussion, however, and my mom didn't make a important announcement that my, that, um, my mom's high school friend, Angela, invited us to Cal. California and and my mom told me that Angela has a big surprise for me but at first I thought we were going to wait until July for the surprise but mom told us anyways that mom told us that we were going to Disneyland and my reaction I was shocked of excitement because the last time I went to Disneyland was in 2010 so and basically I went to Galaxy Edge I took a lot of photos on my phone and most of them I did upload to Instagram on my Instagram page. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I mo I upload most of them on my Instagram page. But I didn't actually upload all of them to my iPod because my iPod was running out of storage. But don't worry, once I clear out most of my stuff on my iPod, I will add those photos on my iPod. So, but at least I still have them on my, on my phone. So... And the sec and the thing that really made me a little bit upset today is that right after I watched Lumber Rocks' video, that um that um that um bait that um that when I heard that one of his neighbors moved out, like she was a really good neighbor to to him, that she had that neighbor like ever since throughout his whole 
her childhood that when he heard that she moved, I was so, I was sad for him. Like I felt so bad for Lambo that his neighbor moved. I hope um he can meet his neighbor again. Again, I hope I hope um his family have um has um her contact number so that way um she so that way Lambo Rocks can talk to him or her. And the second, and the second thing is, is that um, I actually watched an album in the Chipmunks video that the neighbor got a dog. But the thing I did not know that um, his old neighbor moved out. But that I did not know at the time. And and the thing that and and oh yeah, and speaking of May, um, in May twenty first, however, that was the day when I wanted to go see Detective Pikachu, which was actually the very first movie that I ever saw on my own and I was to say to you guys I had a blast when I saw Detective Pikachu. I thought it was amazing. And and basic and basic and basically however um and basically however like I saw a lot of movies on my own this year. Like I saw Detective Pikachu I saw Sick of the Pets 2 on my own. I saw I saw um what else movies I saw on my own. I'm trying to think here. Okay, I saw Pikachu, I saw Sick of the Pets 2. Oh, I saw Joker on my own. I saw the Angry Birds movie 2 on my own. And I saw Frozen 2 on opening day, which honestly says when I saw Frozen 2 on opening day, I had a blast. Seeing Frozen 2 in theaters, but there, but even though there was actually one scene in Frozen 2 that really pissed me off, which I don't want to basically talk about that because I don't want to give away into spoilers. So yeah, like if you guys see the film, you know what I'm talking about. Because after when I saw that scene, I was crying. I was so sad that I base that I was the only one. Like there was a lot of people who were crying. Like, every single movie, every single audience in the auditorium was crying after that scene. But for me, however, I was crying the loudest because, because, is that, even though I don't want to give away any spoilers, is that that scene depressed me. Like, that scene was so shocking that I felt my heart breaking. It feels like that my, that my favorite, that, um, my favorite character and I, had the same blood in, had the same blood in us. That's what I feel like. And and what else did I say about 2019? And um and basic and um basically and then basically the thing that really pissed me off yesterday, right after I wanted to go see Star Wars, I accidentally lost my beanie. I accidentally lost my beanie. And my mom got really angry at me. Like, what the actual fuck, man? Like, like you can actually buy another beanie like at the dollar store or something. It's not the end of the fucking world. So, the, but the good thing is, since I heard that my local Target store sell beanies, but I hope I'll get one soon. Or I might get one at Walmart or something. Well, Walmart is so far away from my area because the only closest um electronic store that I have is Target, and that, and so yeah. So yeah, so so oh so I have nothing to say about 2019. To my opinion, to my opinion. Oh, and don't forget, there was actually one part of 2019 that I fucking hate with a burning, flaming passion. And that is Google Hangout on air live stream shut down. I was pissed off. I was furious. I was so a I was so angry because because without Google Hangout live stream, I can't talk to Lumber Rocks anymore because I'm not happy. Google, not happy. Ask me why, bitches. Ask me why, bitches.
because you shut down Google Hangout live stream, so that way I can talk, so that way I can can on talk to talk to my talk to my my best YouTuber from the UK. And on top of that, that's the only friend I have in the UK. Well, even though I don't met, even though that I didn't meet on uh, Wemo in person because I know because basically I know in his videos he doesn't show his actual face, but but someday. Someday, even though I know um what movie theater he goes to, Mom Rocks, if you're some if you're watching this, someday I will meet you in person. For for the bottom of my heart, I promise. Even though that flight even though that a ticket even though a flight ticket from the from the USA to the UK is very expensive, it's around like two thousand dollars, what the hell? So I will see you in person someday, Lambo. I promise. So, oh guys, I'm not gonna say about 2019. Well, I thought it was an alright year for me, but after watching Lebron's video, that kind of depressed me and him. So, oh guys, I have to give 2019 a six, a 6.5 out of 10. It's mediocre. I think 2019 will have to be one of the most mediocre years I had. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad year. But 2016, oh my god, we don't, we don't know how 2016 turned out. 2016 can kiss my ass. So, so 2019, it has to be one of the most underwhelming years I have. So, what's all that 2020 will be alright? What's all that 2020 will be amazing because we have so many great movies that are coming out in 2020. Like, um, Soul. Saw the Hedgehog, Scoob, Ghostbusters as their wife, Bad Boys for Wife, and there's and also the SpongeBob, and also the SpongeBob movie. And I've heard that there was actually an announcement that was supposed to get the Paw Patrol movie teaser next year because the movie doesn't come out until 2021. But but. But I'm crossing my fingers so tightly that I'm hoping that Paw Patrol the movie will be is actually a hundred percent confirmed because because even though that the logo the Paw Patrol the movie logo update to some kind of website a few months ago if the movie's actually fake I'll be so pissed stop I'll be so angry until that way my brain will explode because because. Paw Patrol the movie, however, that's actually, that's, to my opinion, guys, Paw Patrol the movie, that's actually going to be my number one movie that I'm very excited for in 20, in 2021, because I'm like one of the biggest Paw Patrol fans. Even though most of my subscribers do not like Paw Patrol, like, my, like for example, my YouTube friend, Bubba Rocks, that's why Paw Patrol, but I heard that his little cousin likes Paw Patrol. If you're watching it, if even though that most of my subscribers do not like Paw Patrol, I totally respect you guys' opinions. Don't get me wrong, if you guys like, if you hate Paw Patrol, that's fine. I totally respect your opinion. I always respect opinions. But to my opinion, it's my number one favorite Nick Jr. show. My second favorite Nick Jr. show. Like, there's only two Nick Jr. shows that I like. Paw Patrol and Blue's Clues and You. Which is actually the Blue's Clues reboot. Because Blue's Clues, because Blue's Clues was a big part of my childhood. And my, and my number one favorite show, and there's actually a few shows that I like on Nickelodeon. Like, I do like Spongebob, I do like The Loud House. The Loud House is a really great awesome show. And there's actually another show that aired a few months ago that's the creators of The Loud House, but I forgot what it's called. And I did actually watch the Halloween episode a few months back, and that was a good episode. So, guys, I ended up to the same about 2019. I had to get 2019 a 6 out of 10. It's mediocre. This had to be one of the most mediocre years that I ever had. So, let's hope that 2020 will be much better. That's all I have to say about 2019, and uh, goodbye. I'll see you guys next time.